Episode 126, Mizzle and Mac out here in beautiful Southern California, Oceanside, California to be exact. Chilling with Carlos and Mary and their beautiful Rottweiler Capitan from YouTube. That's right, Mr. Capitan from YouTube. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe not only my channel, but Mary and Capitan's channel as well. And as always, enjoy the content. Thank you for watching. Probably when I was like five years old, my grandma was always had at least like six dogs in her house, one being a Rottweiler always named Natasha. She was just like the family protector. Uh, my uncles always had them, so just being raised around them all the time, I've always seen big dogs, but just the Rottweiler was always my, my go-to breed that I loved because Natasha and I had such a good relationship. Yeah, and, and me, I had a, both of my grandparents had Rottweilers when I was growing up. Um, one of their names was actually Capitan, and he was a really big Rottweiler down in, in uh, Tijuana, Mexico. And uh, so he was, <clears throat> he was my first Rotty, or our first family Rottweiler. And then after that, um, my other grandparents in San Diego had a Rottweiler named Hammer. And he was, he was a real big dog. So you guys said something interesting. You said that your grandmother had a Rottweiler and your grandmother had a Rottweiler, yes. right? Yeah. So yeah. this is obviously before you guys met and stuff like that. Ultimately, yeah. later on down the line, as you guys getting to know each other, did you guys talk about that? Like my grandmother had a Rottweiler? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. We, we did for sure. And it it uh it both, both like brought back childhood memories, just even talking about getting him. And since we got him, it's, it's been, like nothing but good times you know he's he's our son he's our only son <laughs> yeah we had a lot of options and what kind of breed we wanted we looked at the dogos we looked at the dobermans and then at the end of the day it all fell into line that we needed a roddy we were raised with them it all worked out started the line <laughs> nice what was it about natasha that you loved so much was it her temperament was it was she protective i think i just love that she was so like such a protective. I love just having like a strong dog around me that I could just do whatever. My grandma was like, you could do whatever, go outside in the front, just make sure Natasha's out with you. And she was always protective. I love, I loved her growling at like strangers. <laughs> <laughs> so you that enjoyed was, that part? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And what about for you? What was it about your grandmother's Rottweilers that really like intrigued you? Well, they were both mainly watchdogs, you know? So, I mean, that's kind of the same kind of vibe, you know? It's just I go on tour, and when I go on tour, I want I want someone to be able to protect Mary, and and he turns it up a notch when I when I leave, you know. So it's nice, you know, to have that in the back of my mind that I know her best protector is, is right here. Beautiful. So we both actually are we grew up too with Boston Terriers, so we love the Boston. So if we ever got a second dog, it was always like maybe we get a Boston because we also had that connection as well. I mean, Boston's are just so much smaller. I've always, I've had a lot of animals, big horses, everything, but raised, like my mom only would get me smaller dogs because I was really busy at the barn with my horses. So I had Pikinis, Boston Terriers, a bunch of Bostons, but uh, when I, I moved out, moved in with him, it was time for my own dog and it was gonna be the, the Rottweiler at the nice. end of the day. So you mentioned your mom's lab in you know how she's a I've, I've watched your videos i've saw it she's a uh, a young dog with a lot of energy <laughs> so 
by the time she leaves your house, are you always burnt out? Yes, I'm like, <laughs> I am like, thank God, Sandy's gone. I mean, I love her to death. She is the sweetest girl ever. Just that darn nose of hers, it gets into everything in here. And that's just something I never dealt with with this guy. He was just like, literally the perfect puppy. And Sandy Cheeks, I'm just like, oh my gosh, girl, it makes me double think about She's a dog. really good dog. She's a good girl, She's a really good dog. She just, means the best. She's got a lot of energy and puppy energy. she gets back here in the backyard. And but it's good energy for him, so. You'll, you'll see if you saw a time lapse of Mary back here, she'd just be running all around the yard trying to get her. And but you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> we love her and it's Happy Chun absolutely adores her, so good socialization to have this little sister come over all the time, so we, we love her. So we did have like a lot of options when it came to breeds of what type of dog we wanted for our lifestyle. Um, we do love to go out and go camping and travel a lot, but you know, he's always gone, so we wanted something that would watch the house, protect, but also be mellow enough and a family dog too, because I have a lot of my brothers and sisters that come over and we just love that the Rottweiler was going to be the ultimate family dog, but also have that protection. Yeah, we wanted that balance to where, you know, he could be active and, and, you know, take him to the beach and take him on the boat and everything, and then still um, have that protection, you know, and and be a, you know, a part of our family, you know, so. Yeah. We love the pit bull. We had a roommate that had a pit bull here before Capitan, and, you know, we thought maybe we'd get a pit bull, but we just love the, how smart and, they think for, we love how the Rottweiler thinks before they act on anything. So, yeah, they're yeah. very, very intelligent yeah. dogs. Yeah, and in, in doing research, uh, we, we found that they have a lot of hip problems and stuff like that. So we were really, we've been really conscious about what we feed them. And Mary makes a meal for him every meal, or, or excuse me, Mary will make a meal for him every week. Um, for every day and once a week, make nice. a fresh meal. Meal prepping. And, uh, yeah, we do prep just because, I mean, always reading about the Rottweilers with their hips, their weight, I always just wanted the best for him, especially doing research on dog food. And I know everybody likes the raw diet, but you know, we just decided what would fit for our lifestyle. Yeah, it doesn't really fit for us because we don't want to switch up his diet between a raw and, you know, um, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it, like cooked style diet, but yeah, no, I we're just, we're just, uh, we just would rather not deal with the um, bacteria and all that kind of stuff that comes with that. I know people have definitely their own opinions about it, but for us, for our, our lifestyle, we, we feed them the pure Vita, the salmon and peas, nice um, kibble, and that goes with the brown rice, uh, cabbage, carrots, sweet potatoes, yeah. um, coconut, oil. <laughs> coconut oil. I feed my dogs coconut oil. And, um, and his vitamins. And uh, his protein for the week. And, and I fish a lot, so sometimes it's uh, bluefin tuna or yellowtail or something like that. And other okay. times we just get chicken breast from the store or um, ground beef or we switch it nice. up for him just to keep his palate fresh and not to just get him on the same food every day. <laughs> nice. One of my good friends from high school, it was just like the weirdest thing. The stars all aligned. It was like the day he said yes to a Rottweiler, my friend literally had a litter that day. And I knew her from high school. She lives like five minutes down the street. I hit her up. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want one. Can I get one? She was like, yep, come right over. You can see them right now. They were born like three days. And I couldn't, they were, she's like, they didn't have any colors, no, no collars yet. I was just like, I know one of them's in there. That's going to be my baby. So I would stalk her all the time on Instagram because she'd be like at the vet with one. I'd be like, is Capitan okay? And um, well, so finally once it was okay to start choosing the puppies, I told her, I don't know why we wanted the male so bad. I think just because uh, I've had females and they always were a little bit more protective, I guess the word is, or a little bit more sassier. So I just always wanted a male. Why, why did we want a male? <clears throat> I wanted a male because my grandparents had yeah. animals and they were always just really good dogs. So So when it came down to it, I told my friend, I want one of the bigger males. She, I think there were six of them. He was lit, litter of 12. Just pulled out all, all six of the males to me. I got pick of the litter. 
and he was the one that was running up to me first. And I'm like, okay, I like this one, and I'm like, I'm gonna let him do his thing and see what he was. He was a green collar, which was my favorite color anyways. And there was another green. My friend's like, I think you'd like this green. I'm like, that green's like tearing up the succulents in the garden. I have succulents, <laughs> I can't, I have plants, I have other animals, so. This one just kept coming to me. So he was green number two. <laughs> nice. So the name Capitan, you said that your grandmother had a dog named Capitan. So is that where the name came from? Yep. Yeah, and we thought he was going to be really big. Like, uh, <laughs> like my, that? my grandma thought <laughs> he was going to be this big monster. He was like 170 guy. pounds. Wow. That's really, big really big. Yeah, big raw water. Down big in Mexico, water. too, you know? So yeah. It's, uh, he was very protective. Nice. He ended up being 100 pounds, but it's actually perfect for us because he's a I'm able to control him and he's not too much of a dog. My best friend, she copied me and got her Rottweiler too. <laughs> yeah. He's a big old boy. He's a Slater boy and she loves him to death. She has her baby with him all the time. So, Well, just from the beginning, I mean, me and him are social. We go out to our friends, especially pre-COVID. We would, you know, travel all the time, and our life definitely had to slow down a little bit. We couldn't be out, like, till 10 o'clock, you know, we had to come back, make sure to take him out to the bathroom, do all that. But, um, so for puppy proofing, I, I don't, I tell everybody, we got just so blessed with him. He was honestly such a good puppy, but I mean, we did have to, like, fence off half of this fence, this yard, because I'd be paranoid he would get out, but... I mean, he was really good when it came to uh, puppy training. Yeah, I don't, he was. He was already potty trained when he came here. He was just like not never chewed anything, never bit anybody. He was just like honestly an angel. He, he had a him. little teething problem like for the first week that we had him, but she got some chew spray. Right? Sour spray. And, yeah, some yeah. sour spray. But I don't know. We were always around him though. Like after we wanted to be around him, we were super happy to have him. Like it wasn't like a oh, we gotta go. Yeah, we were, not, like, we were not. We were not remorseful at all about yeah. having him. We were, so, we were so. really happy, and he just made our whole world way better. <laughs> it wasn't my idea, actually. It was my little sister. She's 15. She loves Capitan Chef, and she knows I like to film and take photos. She's really into YouTube, and she was just like, "Mary, I want you to do it." And I was like, "I don't want to do it. I don't think anybody's gonna watch me." But then I started, you know, watching other like golden retriever YouTube videos, and I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll I'll throw on a camera. And he was actually really good, and I was just really. I first was going into reptiles, and I was like, I just want to be a reptile YouTuber. And then somebody said, my like my sister said, put Capitan up on there. People love him. He's beautiful. He listens. You guys have a good little lifestyle. And I did that first vlog, and that just like took off. I, I, I really didn't think it was going to take off at all. I was like, nobody cares about me and my dog. But that was like, he's the star of my YouTube channel now. <laughs> yes. So, I do my research. <laughs> a day in the life of a Rottweiler owner. Yeah. This is your call of fame right here. Yeah. This, video. <laughs> <I> know, <but. laughs> this is your um, call of fame. It was such a bad quality so, video. That I mean, but you know, those are the videos. I have one too. I wish I could take it down, but, but it's, <laughs> it's doing my video like that is doing great numbers. I can't take it down. Um, your video has over 300, 400,000 views. Yeah. That's awesome, right? Thank you. Yeah. You wasn't expecting that video to do that, was you? Not at all. So, talk to me about the response and the, the feedback that you got from that video, and how did that make you feel? Um, so when I, I think it was like the next the next morning, I looked on my phone, not expecting like anything, because like I said, I started off as a reptile like YouTuber. I looked on there, I was like, 5,000 views, like what? And then I got all these comments saying, oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. You're showing like, this is like a really great looking Rottweiler. I love that you feed him food, you're a responsible pet owner. Please keep these vlogs up. People were just telling me, please keep vlogging, keep vlogging. So I was like, I guess this is what we're doing, Cappy. We're gonna go for it. And he actually, it's not like he doesn't wanna be in front of the camera. He, he really enjoys it. So that's why it's like, it just it comes all natural for us. We just try to, how to do our thing. Well, I mean, I think it's really cool just the fact that, I mean, I get people on Instagram always messaging me from all around the world, like from Nigeria to Europe. Like, we love Capitan. Um, I just, uh, they love to see how good of a boy he is. Um, 
Also, like one day I was walking down the street down the beach with him, and somebody's like, Capitan! I was like, oh my gosh, what? Like, how do they know it's us? <laughs> so it's been pretty cool. Uh, and just talking to other Rottweiler breeders, I've gotten a lot of messages recently from like people getting puppies, saying I inspir inspired them for getting puppies. So I think that's just been like really cool seeing that effect in the community. But I do always want to try to, you know, just make be the best role model I can. Try to the best of this breed. He's always filming a new video for her next episode or whatever, so. And you're always gone, it's, when it's you're all good. gone touring, it keeps me super busy too. Yeah. So. So yeah, yeah I support it. I'm, I'm cool with it. Have you ever seen a video like you're on tour, you're on the road, and you get the alert in your phone, my wife just had a new video, you just watch it, you just look back and you, you just smile like this, you yeah. know, it's my family yeah, right here, you know? <laughs> it gives you like a, a warm feeling inside. Yep. Yeah, it's my wife and my son, you know? It's, yeah. our, it's our little family. Sister gets a lot of credit. Yes. How long does. did she bug you about doing this? I think, I would say she probably bugged me for about a year and a half just to do it. Just to do it. She told me she'd even edit the videos for me. She would, <laughs> she'll film me. She should do anything for me to post videos up. So it, it took me a while and I was, I would always doubt myself or tell her reasons why. And she'd always have an excuse why I should do it. So I totally have to give credit to Hannah. <laughs> I want to thank you first of all for coming out here, but um, I just want to say that give this dog, this breed, the respect they deserve. I mean, they're not the big scary beast, but you know they are a lot of responsibility. So just I uh, really be responsible out there. They are babies; they deserve the love. Um, if you want to check Capitan out, go ahead and follow him on his Instagram. It's Capitan Verdugo. And then also you have to follow us on YouTube because we try to post at least once a week on this guy. It's Mary Verdugo or Mary and Crew. So yeah, check us out. It mean the world. We love this breed. And uh, just want to show the best off to this, how sweet they can be. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys very much. Peace out. So this is behind the scenes. Here we have uh, Mary in her reptile room. What's up, you guys? This is a... Uh, yeah, behind the scenes, the crew, the other side of my rup channel. Um, got my snake here, yeah. All my other pets, I'm just a... Uh... Let's zoom in on your snake. What's his name? Uh, this is Fleetwood. That's Fleetwood. Like Fleetwood Mac. So, obviously I'm a big, mu love music, so all my animals are kind of named after different musicians, so and Fleetwood Mac. What kind of Mac. snake is this? This is just a bald python. So he's just about one, so he's not even full grown yet. How big is he gonna get? He's gonna get probably like six six feet. Wow. Yeah, but he's a good guy. How did you get into reptiles? Um, so my my husband's best friend is actually a rep, and uh, one day he had a chameleon, and I was like, babe, can I get a chameleon? And he bought me the whole setup, and then one day he went on tour. And then I just had this whole room filled. Nice. So, but I just love animals. I'm just, I'm a Capricorn, so animals have always just been my nature. I just, they make me happy. They're nice. my children. Nice. <laughs> and this is Santana after Carlos Santana. And he's a bearded dragon? Yes, he's a Hypo Zero uh, bearded dragon. So some people think he's like an albino, but he's not. It's just a certain type of morph. And they usually have like a lot more spikes on him than, but he's a... A pretty smooth guy, so he's a special one. <laughs> nice, let me zoom in on him. Hyper Zero is what it's called. Yeah, how old is he? He's about two now, about two years old. Wow, he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's kind of lazy right now just because it's like winter, so he's kind of burn eating a little bit more. Um, they have personalities. Oh, yeah, yeah, they know who I am, and he's really chill. Usually they're a little bit crazier, but he's a he's super mellow. Come here, buddy. How does Capitan act around the? Um, he could care less about that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Capitan, look at it. Come here. You wanna see Santana? And Santana could care less about him. Huh. He's the babies. Now Let's I think see. about it, I don't think I've ever seen reptiles in a Rottweiler together besides <laughs> two <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't care about them, huh? Is that your friend? He's he's actually more afraid of him. Santana's more, he's like more macho on him. Kind of freaks out, huh? He don't care. Yeah, we don't hurt lizards at the house. They're our friends, huh, baby? Nice. Come here. And she was your first reptile? Um, actually one of my frogs was. The frog, wow. Okay. Let me uh, get her, I'll just get her a little thing so you can see her eat. I'll get her more. Sometimes 
Like, you have a tortoise too? I don't have any turtles, no. I'm surprised she um, likes you because she turns different, she gets angry with, with some people. It's weird. Really? She, yeah. I have my friends come over. Maybe that's why she's here. You go. Are we gonna do it? Oh wow! Yeah, she has that long tongue. She's and she just eats vegetables? Uh, no, she eats worms, crickets, and then she also has to get salads too. So she's kind of high maintenance, and then she has to get misted down every day. And how Pretty old is she? She's a two. Yeah, wow. I have to try to mim mimic like Madagascar in here, so <laughs> a little bit better than it usually is. But... We'll pinch you. See, she's like, get the hell away. She only wants food. They're really sassy. They're not really like the ones that you see in Tangled. I'm sure your daughter's probably seen Tangled yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. Definitely nothing like that. All the little girls always like, can I take her out? I'm like, mm. And then they see her hiss at me, they're like, okay, it's okay. <laughs>